try it again. Hello, Ned Bank. Hello. Now it sounds like positive, passionate, powerful women in here. I am ready for this one. I want you to look to the right and look to the left, and then tell the person next to you that you just saw you look better than you did last year. <laughs> They need to be heard. 
I know so many talented people who are sitting out there who are so bright, but they are scared to get out, to venture out. And I'm going to tell you what our problem is later on. When we talk about personal power, we think about four things, confidence, perception, and image, and knowledge. And these are the four things I want to touch on. Are you then sitting there questioning your brilliance, hiding your brilliance under the guise of being humble? I love how we always say, Ubuntu, Ubuntu says you must be humble. Ubuntu never said that. <laughs> no one said you should be humble. Get out there. You have to call yourself a winner before the world can call you a winner. The world is not going to be able to call you a winner if you don't believe you are a winner. Are you resentful of successful women who are excelling in their own right? That's where the problem starts. What first impressions do you want to create when you walk into a room, into a meeting, into a place, into a function? You're the type that makes that grand entrance, whatever. What mm -hmm. impact do you want to create? Can anyone just throw one word? Come on, guys. Professional. Yes, what? Professional. Professional. Confident. Confident. Dynamic. I love, I love them. What do you Beauty. Mean? Okay, you got them. You got them. Okay. Can you then give me a name of a woman that you feel exude the type of confidence you want to, that you admire, maybe? Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Kanye. Kanye? Michelle? She's fearless. If you want to appear powerful, walk like you're powerful, exude that powerfulness in you, and people are going to have trust in you. I want to give you my five A's, or five A's of success. Affirm yourself daily. When I was coming here today, did my hair dressed up, went in front of the mirror, and said, I am a deal. And I said, I'm divinely inspired, victoriously amazing. I want you to stand up and say that to yourself. Now before we stand up and uh, say goodbye to each other, I want you to go around the room and tell at least five people I've got your back, and I also want you to say, you've got the right thing, baby. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you've got the right thing, baby.